Today, a natural result in middle age. Is it possible? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dr. Sarah Tonks. I'm a cosmetic physician in London. Today I'm bringing you a new patient. She's a middle-aged lady, not really had anything done before, but is really up for it. Major concern is around the eye, so I'm going to be using a combination of different treatments in order to get her the result that she's looking for. So let's have a look at our patient. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing that stands out to me is the crepey skin around the eyes and that can be something which is pretty aging. Um, I really like using PRP for the skin around the eyes so I'm going to show you her really nice before and afters later. As you see we do have a bit of jowling here and there are some fine lines and vertical lines in the lower part of the cheek and along the jawline. The lip is kind of a slightly unusual shape um, being that you can't really see this section of the upper lip and all the fullness is in the lower lip. She's got good volume in her cheeks, but it is kind of low. So it would be nice if we could take it up to the point of beautification, which is about here. So that would be an intersection between the lateral part of the eye and the outer corner of the mouth, top part of the tragus going across to the top part of the nose right there and then we just drop a line straight down and it's roughly there. You see these little lines here next to the eye? Um, you can improve them actually by putting some Botox in the bunny line area which is just here on each side and I'm going to show you how that's done right now. I'm taking some blood for the patient right now and for the kit that I'm using I need to take 15 mils in total. For this particular kit, it will give us six mils of PRP. Most times, the substance that people talk about being PRP is not actually PRP, it's platelet concentrated plasma. So there are really only a couple of pieces of equipment uh, which will give you true PRP, one being the Angel, the other the Magellan. And most of the other machines uh, only concentrate the platelets maybe around uh, two and a half times. But to be honest, that's probably sufficient for what I am doing today. And of the two machines that I have, this one being the Arthrex, the other one being the Angel, um, you still see a very, very good result uh, using the less concentrated platelets. I'd say that I very rarely use the Angel actually. So we start off by doing some Botox injections in the frown lines, in the forehead, the crow's feet, the bunny lines, and in the chin. This time I went for tear cell ultimate in the temples, and I use a total of one mil per side. I also used tear cell ultimate along the cheekbone. Again, one mil per side. So let's just take a look at those results. You can see that just by doing this, it's changed the position of the cheek and everything already looks more lifted immediately. So this is a total of four mils. Then I go back in with Juvederm Vol Lift and do half a mil on each side in front of the ear. I use Juvederm Voluma in the chin crease and the tip of the chin. Then with a 32 gauge needle, I use Juvederm Volbella to the upper part of the lip along the border and then the lower, but concentrating in the middle third. You'll see that most of her volume is spread quite evenly in the lower lip. And as you know, I really wanted to emphasize the corners of the upper lip to make it look like they're not disappearing. Then I've changed to using Radies to do 0.75 mils at each angle of the jaw. And in total, we've now used 8.5 mils. So let's take another look. So you see underneath the eye has improved already because we do have some lift. And you can also see that the structure of the face is just looking a little bit more plump, a bit more full. There is some swelling in the upper lip, but it's kind of minor. I think, you know, she could go to work and not look too silly. Then I'm gonna go back and use Juvederm Voluma with a 25 gauge cannula each side in the chin, going up to the marionette line and across the chin crease and then using Voluma again in the cheek to reposition the highest point of the cheek because this is something which I find really important. 
So in total, we've used 10.5 mils of product. Now I'm using the PRP underneath the eyes. This is done with a cannula. When you get this technique done, guys, there is swelling and it can last one to three days depending on your response to it. And this is completely normal. Okay, so let's check our before and afters. I think we've got a really nice improvement in the under eye area, looks much smoother. The cheek has been repositioned really nicely. I think maybe she could have done a little bit more in the lip, but you know, I guess that's always something that we can look at doing in the future. The position of the eyebrow looks much nicer. She looks a little bit more rested and we've got good improvement in the chin and the marionette region. Everything just looks kind of very subtly airbrushed. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content and join me again here next week where I'm gonna be doing more of the same. I'll see you then.